Okay, so here we have the iFly RC, iPika 25 amp ESC. This is 4 in 1 ESC, 25, uh, 25 amps, this is it. And this runs DL Heli S, and it's D Shot capable. Uh, this one is a uh, standard size, so it's uh, roughly about uh, 36 by 36 uh, board, and the mount holes are 30.5 by 30.5. Uh, uh, this one uh, was sent in by iFly RC, so thanks for sending it, so I can uh, do an overview, uh, mini review on it, and share it, uh, share it with you guys. Uh, uh, it also does have a BEC, a 5 volt BEC, which is uh, 3 amps. So that's plenty, plenty of juice to run most, most everything on a multi-rotor. Uh, uh, it is 3 to 6S capable, so that's that's pretty good. You get a lot of uh, options uh, to drive your motors. Uh, I already took this out, so I wanted to see what uh, what chips this thing has. Uh, that's a heatsink, so pretty good. Uh, and there's also a, a thermal thermal sticker thing so this is to transfer heat uh, I pick a really does make really quality stuff I've been using the 30 amp uh, 4 in 1 ESC uh, for the past uh, uh, two or three months already and I've been beating on it and, and the thing just keeps going it, it doesn't skip a beat it's uh, pretty pretty reli reliable I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, it's a really really good ESC uh, so this one, uh, by the looks of it, it, it you know it cont it follows on the same uh, philosophy from from Ipica. Uh, and here we can see the uh, the back, uh, this portion here. Uh, it looks like it's your regular uh, switching back, but uh, I can see there's a they're using a lot of uh, capacitors. I believe this. I don't know if these are for the for the back or the ESC side. Probably for the ES, ESC side. But anyway, these switching capacitors are usually pretty pretty clean. So uh, that's good that they included it. So you know, one one less component that you have to use. Uh, it does have a uh, built-in uh, current sensor. Here we can see the uh, chunt resistor for that. So this has a, a BB2 MCU. And that should be able to run 48 to 50 megahertz, I think it is. Uh, so overall, pretty pretty clean uh, PCB. Here's the uh, flash pads. Uh, don't uh, we don't don't usually use those anymore, uh, as uh, most of these ESCs these days can use the uh, the DL Heli pass through uh, through the FC. So you just flash it once it's connected to the FC. Uh, the FETs that they went with, uh, these are Alpha and Omega AON uh, 7418s. Uh, so those are good for uh, the, uh, the, drain uh, the drain source is, is rated at 30 volts. Uh, of course that's, uh, that's good enough for 6S. And uh, the current rating on these, on the spec sheet, on the data sheet, it says that's good, they're good for 50 amps. Of course, that's that's when you when you provide uh, enough uh, enough uh, heat dissipation, uh, like a heat sink. But in this case, you know, it's not. Uh, there's no heat sink, so so there's a B rating. Uh, once it reaches a certain temperature. Uh, the current handling uh, capacity uh, is derated; it goes down, but that doesn't happen until uh, I think it's slightly above a hundred C. Then, then the current uh, handling capacity starts to go down. So, uh, anyway, this this should be good enough for uh, for twenty five amp. So most twenty two or five motors should be fine with this. Even it might. It, Probably even good for 2206, 2300 motors. Uh, so, so these are should be good enough for that. Uh, uh, in the package, uh, 
you get a couple of uh, 14 gauge uh, wires uh, for the ST60 that they also include. It's always good to use a little bit of a sort of a pigtail, so it's not good to. So anyways, you can't solder to these because they're not a full hole here. But uh, some of those uh, ESCs or PDDs that have uh, holes that you can solder these direct, it's not a good idea because when you crash, they this may uh, rip it off or break it. It's always good to have a, a length of wire here and so that it, it flexes. So when you crash, it, there's some give, you know. And uh, they also include the these uh, lead wires. Uh, these go into these connectors, and that's for the uh, they connect to the ESC uh, for the signal ESC signals and uh, uh, voltage the five volt uh, back voltage, the current sensor signal, and uh, and uh, they do use uh, silicon wire, so it's it's a good wire. The uh, they also come with a sheet, the single sheet of, of uh, color printout, and it shows you the the connection diagram. Uh, so it's pretty good. It's sort of uh, very easy to follow instructions. Uh, they give you all the pinouts that you that you need. And which are uh, the uh, signals, uh, the ESC, ESC outputs to which motor? So motor one, two, three, and four. Uh, so that you know that makes it easy to uh, install. So just the ESC by itself weighs in at uh, twelve point five grams. Not too bad. Uh, so there you go. That's the IPCA 25 amp ESC. I'll be using this on my next build. Uh, I'll be using it on that uh, composite frame the also sent. And this will be driving uh, these motors. Uh, they're also from iFly RC. And these are the i4s uh, 2205, 2300. Uh, new motor so I'll, I'll be also reviewing these separately so keep an eye out for that review uh, we'll see how these motors do uh, they seem to have all the common features these days uh, hollow shaft uh, looks like a four millimeter shaft uh, single wire on the windings the magnets don't look like they're curved but anyways I'll I'll go through the through the motor uh, in another video. We'll see what it does. I'll put it on the truck stand. So that's the uh, overview for this ESC. Uh, as I said, I'll I'll uh, I'll use it on my next build. Uh, once I have it on on that frame and do some live testing, I'll. I'll There'll be a part two video, if you will, uh, just to let you know how this ESC performs. Uh, should be should be a smooth uh, ESC with the S. That that firmware really does a good job uh, in uh, you know handling beta flight. So so looking forward to using this uh, four in one. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.